I think that's I think that's part of the journey is knowing that nothing's fixed forever and that you mm. always want to be evolving and finding new things. And one of the great joys of democratic education is that we're not beholden to any one philosophy or way of mm. doing things that we can read and research and find new things and be inspired by other schools and go, oh, I love that. I'm taking that. Going to conferences, going to IDEC conferences right. and ADEC conferences and talking to people about how they do things and going, oh, wow, that's really cool. Let's try that in our setting is really yeah, important. Yeah. Are you going to the uh, IDEC in Taiwan? I'm hoping that some of our <laughs> staff from Humanitas can go. Yeah. The, we, we, we wanted to send a whole bunch of teenagers, but financially the information came out a little bit late but Patrick yeah, yeah. Is, and some of our staff are hoping to go we're hoping to get to more of them now that we have the high school kids because they can oh yeah they're a bit yeah. older they can travel mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm. definitely a plan but right Cecilia who is my dear friend on ADIC she will she'll be there <laughs> oh right on. yeah I'll Chris, be there too yeah. with my yeah. partner Joyce so yeah uh, lovely looking forward to it <laughs> yeah, it'll be it will be really good they're always amazing they're always amazing conferences yeah this is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Berg.